Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist. I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe to the channel because we're here every week, every single week, talking about skincare. Body skincare, body skincare. I've gotten requests to do this. I've gotten messages to do this. And I just really wanted to make sure that I had all the information accurate for you guys. I didn't just want to kind of make like a sporadic video and it just not be what you guys are looking for. I really wanted to make a well detailed video about body hypermentation and how you can really help take care of it. And I guess I just wanted the perfect video for you guys. I'm sorry that it took too long, but this will hopefully be the start of more body skincare products on this page because I know we're inundated with all the facial skincare products, but I'm hoping to make more of these. So thanks for having the patience with me. In today's video, we're going to talk about what hyperpigmentation is, the causes of it, and how we can remedy and treat it and hopefully have it never come back again. Yeah, let's just get into it. So first off, what is it? What is hyperpigmentation? Hyperpigmentation, or in this case, body hyperpigmentation, is a deposition of extra melanin to the top layer of the skin due to inflammation of the skin, too much sun exposure, insects slash bug bites, or even mechanical activity like rubbing of the skin, picking on the skin, or kneeling down. Doing all of these things can cause friction to the skin, thereby hyperpigmentation. Now that we know what causes hyperpigmentation, let's talk about the remedies or treatments and ways that we can help mitigate hyperpigmentation on the surface of the skin and hopefully have it never come back again, right? Because, girl, I know we tired. Mm -hmm. Have an extra melanin, although it's pretty. Our bodies have more natural melanin than our counterparts. So unfortunately, when our skin does get inflamed, it's very, very important to be really careful with how we're treating it and what products we're using. As far as remedy and treatments, I'm going to break this into two parts. I'm going to talk about more holistic lifestyle changes you can make to help remedy your hyperpigmentation and of course talk about products and ingredients and things we should be looking into when trying to treat our hyperpigmentation. First, I'm going to talk about our diet make sure that you're not eating things that are inflaming your skin. Some examples of some foods that can cause hyperpigmentation are like processed foods like fries and burgers. Some studies have shown red meat to cause a lot of inflammation, refined carbs, soda, and I know all of these things taste amazing. They're so good. I'm not telling you to stop eating them. Just mitigate the amount that you're consuming. Try to balance it out with more organic foods or more fresh foods and do more like an 80% to 20% unhealthy, right? Because we got to get that little kick to kind of offset the unhealthy foods that we're eating. Now, picking on your skin, you already know, do not pick on your skin. I am guilty of it as well, but picking on an already inflamed acne or an active acne tells your skin cells, hey, produce more melanin, and then it causes more darkening of that area, and then you have to deal with the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. It's just not a good thing on the long run, so just avoid or try not to pick on your skin. What I do now when I know I'm too tempted to touch my acne, I get like one of those acne patches and I cover it up so that way if I try to touch it, I'm touching the acne patch instead of like touching the actual acne. This last holistic change is kind of personal to me because growing up in Nigeria, I went to a boarding school for high school and the seniors would always punish us on our knees. Sometimes they'll have us kneeling down for hours and I feel like honestly that contributed to my knees really darkening a lot. So if you're kneeling, like you know, like doing activities at home, like where you're mopping, try to maybe change that up or get something where it doesn't need you to kneel to do the activity. Because things like that causes friction even like the back of your neck and your skin rubs together, especially when you have folds on your neck, can cause darkness in those areas. Even your thighs rubbing together and your elbows and you put your hand on the table and stuff, all that stuff can cause extra darkening of those areas. So try your best to either Either lose weight if you can or find other remedies that help those areas stay apart. Now on some medications are the things that you can get over the counter or even more prescription medication that help mitigate these dark marks or hyperpigmentation. For this part I broke it down into three different categories. I have inhibitors, exfoliants, and renewal products that can help really alleviate these dark marks in these areas. Starting with inhibitors, these are products or ingredients that will help stop the transfer of those melanin cells up to the surface of the skin. So basically when your skin is triggered or irritated, it will help reduce the pigment deposit in those areas. Some examples of tyroxinase inhibitors are kojic acid, azelaic acid, tranexamic acid, hydroquinone. These are just some of the popular ones I'm sure you guys have heard about. Some of the products I recommend for this category are Arbin RX Even Cleansing Bar. It's got kojic acid, azelaic acid, niacinamide to help stop the transfer of that melanin. I didn't mention this earlier but eczema can also cause body hyperpigmentation. I recommend Dove Eczema Body Wash. It contains ingredients that will help treat your eczema. Onto the next category are exfoliants. These are ingredients that will help slough off the dead skin cells on the surface of the skin that might be containing those dark pigments and also ingredients that will actually go deep into the pores and help declog anything that could potentially cause acne from forming. Products I recommend for this category are Naturium's Glycolic Body Wash. I personally use this one. I really love it. If you like more of a milder exfoliant, I recommend Dermatology Lactic Acid Body Wash. CeraVe Salicylic Acid Body Wash is a good one to help declog your pores. And finally, Necessary's Body Wash contains glycolic, lactic, and salicylic hydroxy acids. And for the last category, we have to renew the skin. Basically, we need these ingredients to go 
deeply into the layers of the skin and help turn over the skin faster to help really bring those new cells to the top layer of the skin and remove those dead skin cells from the top as well as protect the skin from any further damage products i recommend for this category are versed retinol i love this one i've used it it's amazing a sunscreen kopari's spf oil supergoop also makes an spf 40 body butter if you like more of a spray format marish per has an spf 60. so these are all the products i recommend to really help treat your body fermentation i know this is so hard to do with especially if you're currently going through it i know it's so hard i know i know i understand but just be patient with your skin these ingredients do take time to actually start to work on your skin give it at least six weeks to start to see results don't give up and don't turn out your products too fast because if you do you might not even know what products might potentially irritate your skin so it's really important to go through these products maybe even do patch testing before you decide to form an opinion on the product and move forward and if possible if you have really sensitive skin you can try skin cycling where you're exfoliating one day and treating a different day so you can try to rotate these products out so you're not using all of them in one routine and that might be beneficial to you but yeah that's all i got for this video if you liked it make sure to thumbs up this video subscribe to the channel for more skincare videos like this and more body skincare videos i'll see you guys next one bye